9 o'clock news. I'm Thomas. And I'm Gary. And we're here reporting to you not quite live on the Israeli occupation of our country. This is a conflict that has spanned decades, starting in 1947 when the UN decided to create a homeland for the Jews. The U Jews were given the majority of our land and we were not consulted on the matter. Once Israel was formed in 1940, it was attacked by several surrounding Arab nations. The fraction of our land that we had left was seized by Egypt, Jordan, and Israel. Israel took back our land from Jordan and Egypt a few years later, but no attempt was made to return it to us. In 1987, the Intifada began as we attempted to regain our independence. Israel responded by sending the military. The 90s saw a stab at peace, but this didn't last. By 2000, the violence had resumed. In 2005, Israel began moving out of the Gaza Strip and gave us control of the territory. There was violence at first, but as of 2008, we have entered a ceasefire agreement. However, this does not mean that there is peace. Israel currently holds the control over the entirety of Jerusalem as maintaining settlements within our territory. They have also begun plans for a wall separating Israel from the West Bank, but this is, wall goes well within the West Bank's borders. Israel is also restricting movement between West Bank and itself, limiting things like jobs and education. What do you think about Jews taking our land in the 1940s? Well, first I think we should be able to return to our land in Israel instead of living as refugees in other countries. My family had good friends that we will never be able to see again unless, of course, the Jews get out of our homeland. Yes, and the Jews won't leave our homeland as they think that they are, were there first, which I don't believe is true. We were there first and we should be able to return. Well, hopefully someday we will return because I want my children to be able to return to our homeland because that's where they should live.